Hello, it's Michelangelo Caruso. I'm offering tips on how to speak without notes. I invented this technique. It's called the power of three. You see, when you speak without notes, people think you're passionate. They know you're not reading, so you must really be feeling the message. Sometimes when we have our head down at the podium and we're reading, it doesn't feel authentic. But if you're speaking without notes and you're speaking from the heart, it's so much more of an effective presentation. And the way to do that is called the power of three. It works like this. Someone will knock at your door and say, we need you to give a presentation. And the first words out of your mouth will be, oh crap. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, your boss does not want to hear you say, oh crap. Your boss wants to hear you say, thank you for the opportunity. Let's practice. Thank you for the opportunity. What a great line to use with your boss. And then you say, the boss leaves the room, and then you can say, in a private moment, oh, oh crap. <laughs> then you hold out your fingers like this, three fingers, and you say to yourself, what can I teach these people? What are the three most important things I can teach during my presentation? So what now you're establishing what's called a mnemonic device, M-N-E, mnemonic, okay, M-O-N-I-C-S, mnemonic. Mnemonics will help you remember things. And so the very first thing, you start doing this. The first thing I want to tell them is this. The second thing I want to tell them is this. The third thing. Now, if I was teaching you presentation skills, here are uh, some ways you can begin the presentation. Here are some things you should watch for in the middle of the presentation. And here's how you could finish the, the presentation, including the call to action. You see how I've arranged it? Three. I can even do top to bottom. One, two, three, right? I can do head, heart, legs. That's alphabetical. I want you to understand what I'm talking about. I want you to like what I'm talking about. That's the heart. And I want you to go teach other people how to do it. Head, heart, feet. That's called spatial arrangement. We're down here in Tupelo, Mississippi, and sometimes I tell people it's spatial. And they say, it sure is spatial. More speaking tips at MichelangeloCaruso.com.